investigation. What I can tell you is that ranks from Region 5, that is the five. They were conducting an operation somewhere within the port, the area. Right. That's a traffic exercise. Right. When they stopped motor car PNN 8852, that's a blue alien, as you can see in the background. Right. Being driven by a male East Indian and had a female East Indian as the occupant. According to the ranks, that after they pulled the car over, the driver pulled, indeed pulled to the near side of the road, but subsequently drove off on the fast race. A passing police patrol coming out of the Maikodi police station was in the area. They were informed and they pursued the car. As, the, as you can see in the background, there was a collision as both vehicles came across the bridge. They, uh, they collided with a motor canter which was proceeding in the opposite direction. Correct. Behind that motor canter was a motor car which also collided with the motor canter. As a result, all the parties, with the exception of the driver of the motor canter, was taken to the Maikodi Public Hospital. At this stage, uh, three of the policemen, or policemen slash policewomen, they are referred for further treatment to the Georgia Hospital. One remained there for further treatment right at Maikodi. The occupants of the car being pursued, they were pronounced dead on arrival. Their identities are unknown at this time while the occupants of the car at the rear that uh, the driver his wife and his two children his wife and two children were treated and sent away while the driver he still received the treatment at the microphone can you see at this point commander if anything illegal uh, were found in the in the canter that was in the car that was being pursued as you can see in the background we are still processing the scene thank you very much speaking to me sir thank okay. you there you have it commander so guys, Ganesh Kodak is coming to you from Haika just to give you a bearing of where I'm on the east coast of Demerara. You would have just been hearing from the commander of this division uh, that is officed um, at Covenjan and the lower east coast division uh, where the Georgetown division ends. I think um, this is also a part of the Georgetown division if I'm, I, I could be corrected. Uh, so you would have heard from the commander, the police were giving chase to this motor car just in front of us here, a blue alien, a uh, silver blue alien. And as a result of that, there was an accident, whereas either the alien or the police vehicle came into contact with a uh, motor lorry GFF. Just trying to get the number GFF GJJ. I ain't seen till there. Where's that? I ain't see the number there. So I'm gonna get the help for the number. And investigators are on the scene. Um, crime scene investigators are combing the vehicle uh, to see if there's anything in there. And what would have been the reason for the individual uh, driving? car driving away from the police what would have been the reason for the chase and the individual feeling the need to escape from the police since the individual was stopped at a checkpoint um, and then subsequently take off and was given chase by a police patrol in the area what number you got there from me with the canter hold on hold on they going to come from just now oh you are through there ready I'm going to send a video for me. I'm going to send a video for me. 622 Then they taking out people from the vehicle. Yeah. And I, what? Check out all these pigs, see where they take out how they went. They were taking out people. Oh, just, just give me a quick run through. Hold on. I'm going to hold the phone to it. So, guys, this is what really was transpiring here. This is photographs of the scene. And this is how the police vehicle would have been in contact with the canter was on its side. The canter. Alright, so we can get photos. Send the photographs to me. I get a number for me. So to give you guys um, a gauge of where we are, we are on where the main East Coast Highway ends. Just across that bridge is West uh, Coast Barbies, right? So region four ends here and region five begins just across that bridge so two things would have happened where was the canter coming from how did the 
police vehicle come into contact with the canter? Was it the police vehicle to come into contact with the canter force or this vehicle? It is said, the commander would have just said, the police were chasing PNN 8852, uh, an East Indian male and East Indian female. Who those occupants are, are yet to be ascertained. The, the police have not been able to identify the bodies, but they are said to have been pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. I don't know which hospital it is. Um, so the moto lorry is still at the location and also PAB 8222 was said to be occupied by a husband, wife and two kids. The husband and wife are still being um, treated at the hospital and the two kids were sent to me. Obviously the two kids were in the back seat. Um, this is so we're talking about four vehicles here. Back in that direction, there's the police vehicle and the firefighters are trying to get some uh, thing removed from the truck. So back that way is the police vehicle. And by the way, that is one of the new police vehicles. Um, yes, so it would be Moto Larry. No, no, no. I ain't get you. Okay. You ain't get you. But the police vehicle, the police vehicle number is PAB. 3143, one of the new vehicles just recently received by the Guyana Police Force. So just to give you guys a gauge again of where we are, <clears throat> we're the major junction where the main East Coast Highway ends. And as a result of this um, accident, it's caused a major traffic jam. All of these trucks are on their way to some part of, of um, Barbies, right? West Coast Barbies, um, you know, quarantine and all, all of these trucks. You got fuel trucks, you got rice trucks, you got sand trucks. All of these vehicles carrying goods and everything is all the way back that way has caused a traffic jam. So there's one of the effects of this. And, you know, people might be waiting for the goods. People might be waiting to be serviced with equipment um, and wondering why this thing in reach yet. And this is the Mahika police station. So you come in that direction would be east coming from Georgetown. This would be the old um, road heading to Georgetown also but this heads to Barbies this is heading in the direction of Barbies and that is the Mahaika Bridge and this leads to the Mahaika Market right just to give you guys a gauge of exactly where you are just across the road from the Mahaika uh, police station this is on the junction here this is a very serious junction so when driving here one has to be aware that when you're coming straight who um, is, is turning out from any corner gives way to who is coming straight and then if you're turning you you gotta stop at at some point there but right now most of the traffic coming from Georgia and heading to Barbies is at a standstill because of the fact that um, you know the guys at the fire department members of the fire service are on the bridge trying to cut something from uh, the canter and is there a person stuck in there? Because why would they, if the cant is upright, why would they still trying to be cut out something? So let me get a, let me get a sneak peek. How we going on? Is what they trying to cut out from there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let me get back that thing, you know. You get back the toys? Roger. Roger that. All right. Now see get back the toys. I may want to talk about it right now. So what the fire service cutting out there? Let me see exactly. All right, yeah, brother. Let me see exactly what's going on. Is what they're trying to cut out there somebody there, anything? No. Oh. So, let me see what's going on there. Mm -hmm. So. So they give you um, a close-up look. This is the condition of the police vehicle. Watch, come. Come here, come here. Hold this camera so for me. You will pass it to me when I go up there. Just hold. No, no, no. Hold, sir. Raja. Let me climb up from there. Yes. Cool. You want to come up here? Solid, man. Just, no, no, no. Don't, just rest the camera down, no? Jump with the camera. See if you... Get a little balance, you could lose it down back. So the fire services, what exactly they're doing, I don't know. But this is the condition. Oh yes, I can get a pull up. 
One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Raja. So, this is the condition of the police vehicle. And I'm hoping the ranks would have been wearing their seatbelt, which would have been the right thing for do, to do. And they would be the persons uh, to enforce the law. That would have caused less injury to them. So, you got here uh, senior ranks on the East Coast and ranks from the fire service, the Ghana fire service, by the way, their, their head office just across the road there, within the shot of this camera there, the fire service has their department here. So they would have literally heard the sound of the accident and that is the front of the other vehicle that was housing the husband, wife and two children. Thankfully, it's said that the children are unharmed. For those of you who've just tuned in to They Break News with the Guyanese Critic, I'm coming to you from the east coast of Demerara, just across from the west uh, coast of Barbies, actually. That over is, is the west coast of Barbies. And I'll try to see if I could get a piece across the bridge to take you all the way to the other side to give you a view of what's going on on that side and traffic has the, the traffic traffic has come to a halt so far but right now as we speak the fire department is trying to do something um, with this truck here and just to bring you up to date with what has transpired here the commander for this division um, and you know for people who are listening from abroad and might not know what the command is it is the senior officer in charge of the district this area the east coast district um he recent just informed us earlier in the video that a, a blue toyota alien um was stopped somewhere uh, in the west coast of barbies uh that's the commander right there by the way and the, the car was stopped pulled over at a checkpoint um and pulled over and subsequently drove off after that right chase was given by this vehicle that was on patrol in the area and at some point in time the car came into contact with this uh, canter here how exactly um, you know where the directions they were heading in and I would want to think it might have been a checkpoint a little uh, down I, I, I might be mistaken because I'm looking at the direction and I can't remember exactly what the, the commander said, but um, looking at the direction and how the, the vehicles are hit, um, you know, I'm a little confused as where exactly, but it is on the, on the East Coast side of the, you get any idea? This, the, you know what the, the, the commander said? It was coming from Barbies or the coming? Oh, so the car indeed was coming from Barbies because I'm looking at this and I'm trying to get a gauge Oh, the canter truck was going to Barbies. Beautiful. So this, another vehicle was being chased by this police vehicle. This police vehicle was giving chase to another vehicle that was trying to escape from the police. And they came into contact with this canter and the other car uh, back that way. But just looking at this, I've become a little disoriented and confused. But let me go and see if I could go over the bridge to the other side. If, if I may and get... <laughs> so let me see just to give you guys a gauge oh this place black off right, let me try a thing so this is the old railway right you can't go there there's a big hole there, there this is the old railway this is the old bridge wow it looked like a real risky business going across there by not for say Risky business hasn't always been a part of my life. And what's the worst case scenario? I'll fall into the Mahika River. <sighs> yeah. So, let me try a thing. Let me try a thing. So, this is the funny part. This is the Mahika River. This old rusted trainway, train line. And I'm asking myself, wow, this really rusted in certain parts fall off so now it ain't worthwhile taking a chance it would be i'd love to do it if i didn't have the camera in my hand and i had grip 
to hold on to things because what this thing literally falling apart and you got some pieces there all right the totally rotten of all out might be just waiting for a little bit of weight to motivate it you know and cause it to fall down with me so you know I'm fearless, but I ain't stupid. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be real about that. As much as some people would love to see me go down there and fall to harm. Not today, then get another day. Yeah, so that's the Mahika River. There's the old train line. This is the new bridge here. And let's not stray away from the intended purpose of my visit here. I am covering an accident for they break news we're two individuals huh? oh. we're two individuals have since been pronounced dead as a result of an accident here who those two individuals are the police have yet to identify them but they're East Indian male East Indian female uh, the motor car that they were driving um, is at the station at this time and it was being chased by a police patrol that is on the bridge there uh, I gave you the number earlier and just in wrapping up I will give you I will give you a quick roundup of what is what is going on here yeah, brother here So, if you're home and you know this car number, you know this car number, talk to you just now, just now, hold on. Keep your mouth shut for five minutes straight. I'm coming back just now. Now, my body friend, my body friend, I'm already talk to you, so I'll be this, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. That's my big man friend, that's one of the richest men in Borbies. Oh, Ross, with the back bumper gun. It just had a number, it's it, 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 it a good anyway. There's a number here. So, the car was the individuals under the influence of alcohol. What going on? I ain't seen nothing suspicious. I know all two airbags have been launched. Right? Oh, so we get a little blood at the... This part of the car actually belongs to the, the roofing. So you got a little blood there. You got a little blood there to the roofing. Right? So, some man said people ain't buying nothing. He walking and selling. He's saying people ain't buying nothing. Sad affair. So, that's the roof of the car. You got a little blood splatters in and around the roof of the car. Um, you know, the, for the most part, the, the left side, and that would have mean that the passenger. Um, would have had a hard hit so the passenger side of the car this is the passenger side this is the front of the car this is the back of the car and the passenger side would have taken a really hard hit right so um, you see reason why the two persons in this car would not have survived right unfortunately uh, they didn't survive um, you know looking from the front of the car there's not much of an impact from the front so what exactly did the car spiral out of control and end up hitting something what exactly happened is yet to be ascertained um, the Guyana police force will um, be doing their investigation and giving a report to the effect there is also PAB 8222 that got hit in this accident and traffic has been opened up back. So this car took a direct hit to the front. So traffic on one side has been opened up. And in wrapping up, two persons died at an accident that occurred within the last hour and a half here at Mahaika, just on the bordering of Region 4 and Region 5. It is said that police were in pursuit of an errant driver because they stopped the driver at a checkpoint and then the driver drove off. 
a patrol that was in the area decided to give chase and whatever transpired at whatever rate of speed they were going at an accident occurred involving a uh, motor jeep the police motor jeep the motor lorry there and two cars that has out of one of those cars the passengers who were being given chase um, who the police were giving chase they've actually did not survive this accident unfortunately the Guyanese critic coming to you from Mahaika for the break news.